Welcome back to XFi, an experimental philosophy channel from Carneades.org. Today we're going to be looking at what is automated text analysis for philosophy, one of the tools we're going to be using in our experimental philosophy journey. Now, generally in philosophy, when someone speaks of text analysis, they mean a process of reading a text and understanding it. However, in the world of data analytics and experimental philosophy, it means turning text into data and having a machine analyze it. In other words, text analysis for philosophy is trying to teach computers to understand philosophy and see what conclusions they draw. For our purposes here on XFi, we're going to use text analysis to refer to an automated process of treating text like data and running qualitative data analysis processes on it. Some make distinctions between text mining, text analysis, and text analytics, but we're just going to throw them all into the broad catch-all of text analysis. Basically, these processes attempt to quantify natural language into a form computers can understand and then visualize and analyze the data that we can get from text. Now, this may be a bit abstract, so let's take a look at examples. So text analysis can be as simple as creating a word cloud where the size of individual words corresponds to their frequency in a text. Most folks have probably encountered a word cloud and it's the most common form of text analysis, but they can also be as complicated as using machine learning to identify topics in a collection of text and divide them into different concepts with topic models basically asking a computer to take a bunch of texts and try to group them based on similarities that the program sees. And then it's an interesting question to see, does the computer group them the same way a human would? Does the computer see different patterns or the same patterns? As we build out this channel, there will be more and more examples of all of these methods and how exactly they can be used. But how could text analysis really be useful to philosophy? That's what we're going to explore on this channel. How does Twitter feel about logical positivism? How would machine learning categorize Plato's dialogues? Can computers learn philosophy? By turning our philosophical texts and tweets into data, we will explore a different way to visualize and understand the information that's provided by philosophy. Maybe we'll gain insight from it. Maybe it will show that computers can't actually understand anything about philosophy, and it won't be particularly useful. But either way, it's an experiment, and we're going to try it. If you have any ideas for ways to use text analysis to explore philosophical texts or great databases of philosophical texts for us to use and analyze, please let us know in the comments. Watch this video and more here at XFi and more cutting-edge experimental philosophy videos here, and as always, check out Carnades.org to learn more about philosophy, and of course, stay skeptical, everybody.